Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey from Keep It Simple Paper Crafts. I am thrilled to be with you here today because we are going to create this adorable mini album. As you can see, it's in the shape of a vintage camper and it is full of items from our Hello Adventure collection. The collection is bright and colorful and everything you need for all of those outdoor photos, not just camping, not just national parks and things like that, or hiking, but they are perfect for everything. So let's take a look at the mini album, should we? I love the front because there's a couple of my favorite things here. This sheet of light pink paper is just, it's so pretty, it's so soft, yet it really provides the perfect sort of neutral backdrop. And I know you're thinking, that's not a neutral, but go with me on this, because I feel like the light pink in this entire collection really sort of acts as a neutral. We've got cute little enamel dots. Okay, now look at that. I am telling you what, that is adorable. So we've got die cuts and we've got texture with not only our twine tr trim, but we also have it with these enamel dots again. And we're using foam adhesive throughout this album as well. So that can help add more dimension. So cute, am I right? We've got layering and just the most adorable images. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely in love with this page for a couple of different reasons. One, I think the design is just incredible. I think it's so, so cute. And your two little pet photos right there are going to be adorable. But this is my favorite element in the entire Hello Adventure collection. I know it's hard to have just one favorite, but I love this one and I would name it as my number one favorite. Now again, just so adorable. We've created a really great little scene over here and kept this page simple for either your journaling strips or if you wanted to add a photo as well, you could do that. So cute, right? Do you see the cascading flowers down the side? How adorable is that? Just in love with it. And again, there's that pink paper, I'm telling you. It's just the most beautiful. Now again, we're adding more twine and it's just so cute. And do you see that fox? So adorable, I love this little guy. And not only that, we have feathers, we have buttons, and then our heavy duty chipboard for the front and the back as well. So these memories are gonna be well protected inside of the chipboard. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the uh, things that you're going to need to create this album. You're gonna need a paper trimmer. I like to use this one, not all of the time, but for projects like this. It's small, it's portable, it does its job. You need some sort of scissors, whichever are your favorites or you have handy. You will need some liquid adhesive. I'm just using this one, but whatever, again, your favorite is or you have handy will do. We're gonna use some foam adhesive. Now again, same thing, use your favorites. I like these because I find that it's really easy to pull the backing paper off of these. Sometimes I have a little bit of trouble with that, so I love these a lot. You're also going to include some printed journaling strips or just journaling strips that you hand wrote. You will use your four three by four photos and your four two by two photos. And then we'll, you will also need some white cardstock if you'd like to mat those photos. That is not included in the mini album kit. I'm not going to be placing photos because I don't want to take away from whatever you're imagining from your album, but you will need your photos and then to provide some cardstock if you'd like to mat those photos. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the kit. And let me remind you while I'm getting these items out that all of the instructions are included with your kit. So if I'm moving too fast for you or you'd like to work at a different pace, you are welcome to. Now these are the... These are the heavy duty chipboard 
cover so the front and the back, you'll get two of these. They are so thick. I don't think I could fold them in half if I wanted to. So they're really going to create the perfect base for your mini album. You'll also receive the two rings so that you can attach your mini album. And then all of the beautiful patterned papers already die cut for you in the shape of the camper. So all you have to do is adhere them. You don't need to have a die cut machine to have a really cute vintage camper mini album. The Hello Adventure enamel dots, which I just love the keep it simple dots. They're the greatest shape. They have good dimension. They're not too terribly thick, but they have some height to them. And they come in a wide variety of really beautiful colors. You're also going to receive this little package that has the buttons in it that you need, the 60 inches of twine, and then also the black die cut for the front wheel on the mini album. And then last but not least, all of those amazing die cuts. Let's take a look at them. As I already told you, I am a huge fan of the Hello Adventure collection. So you won't be surprised to hear me talk about how cute I think this is. So many adorable shapes, and we're going to be using most of them, but we won't be using all of them. So you will have a few left over at the end that you can place in the album or on your other projects as well. So cute, right? I just love it. I think it's a really, really fun collection. And again, obviously it leans towards camping and all things outdoors. However, I think that even if you're not a camper, you'd find lots of ways to use this really adorable collection. So why don't we go ahead and get started with creating? Okay, so we're going to take the front cover of our album, okay? And we are going to take our papers. You see these all here? I'm going to find a teal one. Now in yours, just like in mine, the holes might not be completely punched out. So go ahead and get rid of those little guys so that you can put those rings through at the end. We're gonna use a liquid adhesive to adhere this. And again, go ahead and just use whichever is your favorite. Don't use too terribly much. You don't want it to squeeze out the edges and you don't wanna have any buckling or anything like that from overuse. Now you also could use a really great tape runner on the back of this as well. We just like the liquid adhesive because it really bonds to the page. So again, I'm keeping that really light. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but it's really just a very light layer of the adhesive to give it a good bonding to the chipboard and also at the same time not come out the edges or be too warped or anything like that. I'm going to press that down to make sure we've got a good seal right there. And then we are going to take the light pink. See this guy right here? I'm gonna punch the holes out. And then we are going to trim across the middle, okay? So that's where your paper trimmer comes in. And again, this doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to line this straight line of the bottom up along one of the lines on my trimmer, just so I can get a nice straight edge along there. And then I'm going to move it down just a tiny bit, but again, still doing the same thing, making sure the straight edge of the camper goes along the straight edge that is right here. All right, so we'll cut this. I'm gonna set this little guy aside for now. And then we're going to adhere this right there. Cute, right? Okay, so now I'm going to use my Scotch ATG gun for my adhesive. You should use your favorite. I like this one because it's very easy to use. The refills are inexpensive and also 
it just lasts a really long time. And when you paper craft a lot, I don't want to be messing around with refilling it. And it's pretty good for the environment as far as tape runners go. Okay, so we've got that pink adhered to the bottom. And the next thing that we are going to do is we are gonna cut a quarter inch strip to go right above the pink. Now, again, go with me on this, okay? So right here, I'm going to line this up and cut that. And then we're going to adhere that right along here. Do you see that? Now it's not going to be perfect. And you know what? It doesn't even matter if it was perfect or not. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer of my liquid glue just because it's such a tiny little strip. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna line those two up right there and press that down to make sure that it's attached. I'm loving how it's coming together. All right, now this is where the fun starts to come in. We are going to pull out the these two banners from this die cut sheet. Okay, so next we will use the dimensional adhesive to adhere this to the album. So we're gonna take the smaller of the two. I like to start at an edge if I can. So let me pull out my adhesive or my dimensional foam. And I'm gonna pop a couple of these on the back of here. I'm not gonna put one on each because I don't think that it needs it. I think that I'm just gonna use them on the ends, but you should use as much as you are comfortable with. I think for me, this provides enough support and enough adhesive. Now, didn't I just tell you earlier that these were easy to come off? This one is of course super sticky. There we go. Maybe I was just pulling the wrong thing. Now, of course, my fingernails are a little bit long currently, so that also makes the crafting a little tiny bit harder, but that's okay. Alrighty, so I want to make sure that I line the end of my banner with the edge of the camper, and then we're just going to have it meet in the middle because we're gonna have both of these come together right here, how cute, and then have this end meet over here on this edge. So we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm going to add the adhesive to the back of the banner and I'll use one in the middle this time for a little bit more stability. This one is um, one flag longer than the other one. So I want to make sure that I provide a little bit of support there in the middle. Now I will say this adhesive does seem to be a little bit different than these round circles that I'm used to because it's a little bit stickier pulling these little guys off. So I may have to re rethink my choice in the dimensional adhesive. All right, so now we've got that. It's so cute and it's just sort of the perfect accent. Now, a couple of things. If you didn't line it up as perfectly, First of all, it's okay, but if that bothers you, you can always remove it. Second of all, like on mine, it's just hanging off the edge, the tiniest bit. That doesn't bother me, but if it does bother you, you could trim it with your scissors right there. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and put that little black circle down here. Now this little black circle is going to act as the wheel for our camper. 
our little vintage camper. Do you guys have a, a camper or an RV or anything like that? Will this mini album work for your vacation or travel camping type of thing? I do not, but I think the vintage campers are just about the cutest things ever. So I'm really into this idea in general. Okay, so now we are going to take the little navy blue circle die cut, this little guy right here, and we're going to adhere it on top of this right there, just to give it that sort of the little hubcap or the wheel cover. So cute. It's adorable. All right, so then we're gonna put just a one little enamel dot in the center right there. You should use whichever of the colors. I'm currently using a pink one. I used an orange one on my other one just because I thought that would be fun, but this time I'm going with pink because heck, I'd like to do that. Okay, so now we have the wheel finished and the little bunting right there, so cute. And now we can go ahead and we're going to add the door die cut, okay? So this is the door right here. Now remember, if you need a little bit more time, it's okay. You can refer back to your instructions for this mini album. You do not have to do it at the same pace that I am. So okay, so now after we have the door, we're going to go ahead and add the little window as well on the top. Now it comes with a window printed on it, but we're going to pop a little window up just for some added dimension. I'm telling you, this adhesive is not working as well as the other adhesives I have used in the past. I may have to switch because these are not coming, they're very strong. Okay, well that looks adorable. So it's worth the effort. All right, so now we have the window on top of the door and we will use the little window, the floral window with the little awning. Oh my gosh, adorable and we are going to add foam adhesive to that as well. So let's try using a different foam adhesive. I'm gonna use this other, I think it's an older American Crafts one, and I already know that it is not quite as difficult to use. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more success with this guy. All right, so I'm just gonna add a you around here to adhere it well enough and give it a little bit of support as well. Okay, so now we're gonna take this little guy and I'm going to have the flowers overlap the dark pink strip. Super cute. Okay, then I'm gonna take my enamel dots and I'm going to add an enamel dot, a little teal one, in each of the little scallops along that window. Now, sometimes because of my long fingernails, I have a little bit of a hard time getting these teeny, tiny little enamel dots down correctly. So apologize in advance for that if we struggle with that today. But look at that, that turned out, oh my gosh, I have to show this to you, it's so cute. Do you see that? Oh, it's so adorable, I absolutely love it. Just the cutest. So I'm gonna scooch that little guy up there, this one too. Oh my gosh, absolutely perfect. Now the last thing that we're gonna add right here is we're gonna take this little greatest adventure die cut and adhere it right below that window. I'm gonna center it right below there. And voila, I love the font that was used for greatest. I think it's so cute. Now look at that's the cover of our mini album. So now if you wanted to add, you know, say alphabet stickers to say like 
2000 or 2021 or, you know, the year of your trip or, you know, that kind of thing, you absolutely could. There's so many different options. I mean, same thing right here or a tiny little face poking out. It would just be so cute. Now we're going to turn it over and we are going to decorate the back side. Now the back side will include the yellow polka dot paper. So we are going to find our yellow polka dot paper in all of these really cute papers. I guess I already knew what that one was. I love these, they're just so pretty. All right, there is our yellow polka dot paper. It's really kind of an orangish yellow. All right, now I do have one of my little guys I need to pop out right there. And we are going to adhere it to the back of the cover, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my adhesive. I'm not gonna go crazy in the interest of this video. We're gonna add that right there. Again, lining it up nicely, but also making sure that we're leaving the holes so that we can place our rings at the end. And now we are gonna create a scene by using the tree die cuts and some of the others, of course, as well. So the tree die cuts, ooh boy, right here. Okay, we need this guy. We also need, oh my gosh, so cute, right? We're gonna take this, the hedgehog who is catching butterflies. I love it. And then we also need the teepee, wherever that one, there we go. Okay, let me move these out of the way. So we're gonna create a really cute little scene using these guys. So now on the TP. We're going to use the dimensional adhesive on the top of this and then on the bottom I'm just going to put a dab of regular adhesive. So I'm going to put a tiny little foam square right there and then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right there and I'm going to place this in the middle basically of the page. Now I'm gonna take the hedgehog and use foam adhesive on the back of this one. Again, I wanna use enough to make sure it sticks and to also provide support, but I don't need to go crazy. I don't need to back the entire thing in foam adhesive. Finding a balance is good. Now I know a lot of people use the foam adhesive on rolls. Is that what you're using for this or for your favorite adhesive or do you have a different type of favorite adhesive? And what about a tape runner? Do you have a tape runner that you prefer? I really think that the ATG, the benefit is definitely, if you can refill it, because I know that can sometimes be hard, is the that it, you're not throwing away a piece of plastic with every single tape runner, you know? All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna do, we've got this whole scene, and remember we've got some dimension to it this time, if you can see that, so fun, is that we are going to take our twine and tie a cute little bow to put at the top of our tree. Now, depending on your dexterity and your fingers, and then also, like for me, it's a little bit more difficult because of my long fingernails to tie things, but I'm gonna tie a bow. Okay, so now I kinda wanna make sure that both sides are nice and fluffy, and then that my tails will match and the loop sizes match as well. So I'm going to kinda puff these up just a tad, squish them in a little bit to make them nice and round, and then I'm gonna cut the tails as well, just cause I want it to look uniform and cute. Now that one actually did not turn out as uniform and cute as one would have thought. So I need to trim that guy a little bit more. 
Now, something that we're going to do is we're just going to add a little drop of glue, and you can use glue or you could use a small little glue dot as well. On this one, I'm gonna use the glue because I'm setting this page aside in a minute. If I was going to work on the other side, I would definitely use a glue dot. So I'm just using a tiny dab of glue, if you can see that there, just a smidge. And then I'm going to place the center of my bow right on there and give it a nice firm press to kind of put them together. And then the next thing that we are going to do is we are gonna take those really beautiful enamel dots and add those to this scene, okay? So we've got that there. I'm gonna use pink ones again, just because heck, why not? They're really cute and fun to use. And I'm gonna start with a large one and I am going to use three of each. Visual triangles and rules of thirds always apply, I believe. If you can make it work, of course. Yeah, all right, I'm just gonna get another one. Okay, super cute. So now see that turned out really adorable and so fun. Now I'm gonna set this guy aside and we're gonna get to work on the next page. So now the next page will include the purple stripe papers. So first of all, we wanna make sure that our holes are out so that we can put our discs through and we are going to adhere these together okay so that when they are together the front is the purple stripe and the back is the purple watercolor does that make sense okay so I'm going to use the tape runner again and adhere these. Now again, you gotta make sure that you line up the edges, but then also making sure that you have the little holes lined up as well because you need to be able to fit your discs through there. So not only do you wanna look good, but for function as well. All right, so we've got these adhered together. Now, We are going to put our three by four photo in the center of this page. So if you have your three by four photo, you can go ahead and add it. And if you matted it, that's wonderful. I'm just gonna put my photo mat down because I'm not including photos, remember? I do not want to distract you from the beautiful memories that you are capturing in your album. Okay, so now we're gonna look through the die cuts and see if we can find, all right, we're gonna use this tab right here. It has navy blue background and then it has yellow stars. It's really cute. You see the detail? I don't know if that's zooming in correctly or not. I don't think so, but there we go. So cute. And then we also want to use this Happy Camper little banner as well. Now these are gonna get adhered up on top of our photo. So I'm going to place this right here in the general area that we want because I'm going to put the little tab right behind it. So I'll add the adhesive to the back and then I will slide that right underneath my photo mat. And I don't want to, I want it to overlap with the Happy Camper, but not completely. I don't want it to be completely covered. So I slid it over just a tiny bit. Okay. So now you can have this overlap your photo a little bit or you can place it up higher if you don't want it to cover the photo. I imagine that sometimes a lot of the photos at the top or the bottom, they don't necessarily include details that are super necessary. So you're able to overlap the photo a little bit with a die cut like this. Now we're going to also add just the cutest little bear also. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Okay, so let's get him on the page 
also. Now I'm going to use the foam adhesive again on the back. I'll just place a few of these itty bitty little squares. Now he will overlap the photo a little bit, so hopefully that won't infringe upon the integrity of your photo, like cover up a face or important details, something like that. If it does, you could choose something a little bit smaller to go right here. Otherwise, he's the perfect addition, especially like when you correlate these two together, this little guy and then the happy camper, so cute. All right, so then we're gonna finish the page off with just a handful of the enamel dots. So I'm just gonna scatter them a couple down here at the bottom and then to finish off my little triangle, I'll put one up above the bear. If I can get it off my finger, of course. These tiny ones are really a challenge, but they're so cute. All right, so now we are finished with this guy. So let's flip it over. And remember, we have the beautiful purple watercolor background. Now on the back of the watercolor background, we are also going to have a photo as well. So I'm going to add this, just the plain white cardstock, a mat for a three by four photo. And we will put the photo in the center once again. And again, your best approximation of the center, that can be sometimes a little bit difficult to do. And then we will also, on the left side right here, we're gonna take this, I'm just, I love this so much, this little signpost right here. And the detail that I'm really loving is the little flowers at the bottom. My camera is zooming in still on my little, on the album itself and not the die cut that I wanted to show you. But I love the little grass and mushrooms and flowers that are growing at the bottom. I just think that's so cute. Now let's go ahead and add some, you guessed it, adhesive, the foam squares right there on the back. Now again, I'm just sort of scattering them throughout for both adhering to the page, but also to provide support since we are lifting it up just a tiny bit. And I don't always actually peel off the back of all of these also if I include a lot for stability. So that's something to keep in mind too. Sometimes I'll just do the a couple and then leave the two in the center with the back still on. Since I'm placing them there mostly to add stability to this piece so it doesn't get smushed down in the middle. Now, I mean, we can't leave it like this. I mean, it's very, very cute, but let's add a little bit more, shall we? So we've got this little cutie right here. We're gonna pop this little squirrel out. And we're gonna put him on the right hand side. So just across from that sign, just with the tiniest bit of adhesive. And again, he'll probably overlap your photo just a tiny bit, but that's okay, he's so cute. Now we're going to find this tab and at the, it says wild on it. It's large and it's pink. Well, we're gonna use a tab that's large and pink and then we're gonna use this wild die cut right here. I love looking through here for all of the die cuts that I'm trying to use because they're just so cute and it gives me so many ideas of how to use all of the bits and pieces in the Hello Adventure collection on my regular pages. Just so much fun. Okay, so we're gonna do a similar thing that we did before. So we'll adhere this tab sort of in the center above the photo mat. And again, you can overlap your photo or you can tuck it behind. And then we'll add some adhesive to the wild 
and put this guy right next to it. I love how they look overlapped. And then the detail on this little tab is just so cute. It's dragonflies and flowers and grass, and it looks great together. Now again, it wouldn't be complete without a few enamel dots. So let's go ahead and add a couple of these to this page. They're just sort of the perfect little addition because they're very colorful and fun, but they really don't take away from anything at all. And then we'll add a couple more down here. There we go. Okay, so we are finished with our purple page. So we'll set that one aside. Now the next one that we are going to move on to is we are going to get the yellow and navy pages. So, I love these patterns. Do you guys have a favorite in all of them? Like I already said, this pale pink is my favorite, but it's a close, this one is a close second. I love the drawings and the map. Can you guys see that? Just so very cute. Okay, so I'm gonna move my paper trimmer out of the way. I don't need it right here. And it's a little bit in the way. All right, so we are just gonna do what we did before and we are going to adhere these two pieces together. The front side will be the yellow and then the back side will be this navy blue with just this very subtle pattern on the back. So I'll place the adhesive on here. And I'll make sure to line up the holes, the wheels, all of it together. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do over here is something very fun. We are going to just sort of embellish over here on this side, okay? So we're going to leave a nice wide open space for journaling or whatever you want to put there, another photo, something like that. Now, I am going to, let's pull these out. So we're gonna use this heart. It's got some red cross hatch, not cross hatch lines, but little hatch marks on there. Very cute. We are also going to use, how cute is this? Places we stopped, I love that. So pit stops or roadside attractions or something like that, it's just perfect. And we're gonna use that as well. So the first thing that I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and adhere the heart because the map is going to layer on top of it ever so slightly. And so we wanna get that down first, add adhesive to the back of this. All right, so now you'd think, oh, well, we could be done. You know we're not done. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get out one of my white buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this large squarish one. I am sure that all of our buttons are different. So you just pick the one that you'd like to use. I am going to simply tie a knot. I am not going to tie a bow. However, if you would like to add a bow to the top of your button, you should feel free to tie that there. In the interest of not taking too much time and making you watch me fumble tying a bow with these long fingernails, I'm going to simply tie the knot. I think they both look very cute. Okay, so I'll trim the tails off. I like them to be a little bit long, but not too much. I wanna see them certainly, but I don't want them to look unruly or unfinished. Like I wasn't quite paying attention, you know? Now you can use your wet glue to adhere your button to the page if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and use a glue dot just because I don't want to wait for the glue to dry before flipping the page over and starting to work on the back side. I want you to be able to not have that leg there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to adhere my glue dot and then put that right in the center of my heart. Now you can see it looks really good. It's super cute, but you guessed it, enamel dots. So we're just gonna scatter these about, making them look pretty random, yet being sort of thoughtful about the placement at the same time. I'm gonna put a couple of them up here, and then I'm gonna place one smaller one down here. 
And again, you can just print some journaling off the computer and then trim the strips and add them right here. Or you can draw some lines and hand journal right through there, whichever feels more appropriate to you. I know some people don't love their handwriting, but I also feel like handwriting is so important that you might want to include that. Now on the back, we're going to use this navy page, okay? So we are going to adhere a, you guessed it, three by four photo. We're loving those three by four photos. Three by four photos actually, even in regular scrapbooking, are such a great way to get more photos onto a layout because they just, because they're a little tiny bit smaller, they fit so well, but you really don't lose any of the detail from a four by six. So I'm a big fan myself. All right, so I'm going to adhere this in the middle of the page and we are going to go ahead and go through here and I'm gonna find this strip that says, let's explore together with a purple background. You see it right there? Then I am going to find my moon and star die cuts, okay? So here's the moon, and then there's four little stars. So we'll put the moon up there in the center. Now I'm gonna use my wet glue because this is a tiny little detail. And while I love my Scotch ATG gun, it does not do great with tiny details. So just a little bit of glue to get it to be stuck to the page, but not warping or having adhesive come out the sides. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now these, I am not going to add enamel dots to the stars, but it would be very, very cute if you had some yellow adhesive, or I'm sorry, enamel dots left over from your Hello Adventure enamel dots, and you added those to the center. It would be really cute and add a little bit more dimension too. I am now looking for just the most adorable little lantern, which is perfect for all of your outdoor adventures, especially when it's pink and orange and navy blue, am I right? Okay, so we will of course add a little bit of foam adhesive because we haven't done that yet on this page. All right, now we, I mean, it's not complete. It doesn't have any enamel dots. So we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of those. So I'm going to, as usual, scatter them about just because I really find that that's so cute. And I love being able to continue to help move your eye all around the page and really focus on the photo. Okay, so now look at that, another page finished. All right, now we're gonna work with our greens. Now this green buffalo check or buffalo plaid, whichever you prefer to call it, I hear people refer to it both ways, is our next page. And we're going to do as we have by popping these little circles out and then adhering these two together. Now this page is such a fun one. First of all, the back is this just really subtle stripe pattern. And then we are going to use some of our two by two photos on this one. So we will, let's see here. We are going to take our two photos, okay? So remember, we've got our two by two photos and we're going to place them at an angle. I love this because it just makes it so playful and fun. Definitely one of my most favorite techniques 
really sets the mood just by simply angling the photos. So we'll do the same thing for both. Now remember, if you would like to include photo mats, you'll have to cut up a piece of your card stock and you'll be able to do that as they are not included with the kit. Okay, so now we have these both right here and we are going to, let's see here. Okay, there's a couple of yellow strips right here. We're gonna take these little guys and we are going to place them on the sides of our photo. I wait till you see when we put this down, the pop of color that just these simple little yellow strips provide is so cool. And it really makes me think of washi tape. If you have any washi tape in your stash and you've been a little unsure as how to use that for your in your projects, I think something like this is such a great idea. Adding it just right here to the side of your photos really provided Look at that, it just really is very subtle, but it's super cute. Okay, so now we can take the car die cut. So let's get that car die cut. Where is he? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Do you see that? I love it. And we'll adhere that with foam adhesive in the center of the two photos. No detail left unturned in this either. You've got the spare tire on the back, you've got the luggage on the top, I love it. All the things included. So we'll add the foam adhesive. And we're just gonna place that right in between the two photos. Now, I mean, we're not done. So let's go ahead and continue to look through our die cuts and we're gonna find those little butterflies. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Here is a pink one. And then there is also a blue one. All right, so we're going to place this blue one up at the top, and then I'm going to place them both sort of facing different directions, if you will, like their antenna pointing different ways, just to give the impression of movement. So we'll place some foam adhesive on the back. So I'll have this pink guy, he'll point off to the left, and then we will have the blue, I'll after I put the adhesive on, and then we'll have him point to the right. And so then it just kind of makes you feel like the butterflies are flying off the page. Now we're not quite finished because we still need to add my very favorite die cut. Remember we talked about this already. I'm gonna put him down here in the wheel. So I'll put a couple of these teeny tiny little foam squares and pop them down at the bottom. There we go, it's great. But let's add some more enamel dots, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna stick with the navy blue ones this time, placing a couple down here. And I love it because it sort of almost mimics exhaust and the movement of the things. And then I feel like the navy blue one up here at the top also plays into the butterflies flying away. It's just very lovely. So let's flip this guy over and we have the green stripe on the back. Now this one is so pretty because we have these really cute florals in this collection. Can you see that right there? It's just a swag of beautiful florals, different colors all coming together and it looks fantastic. So we're just gonna pop this out and then add some foam adhesive to give it that dimension off the page, of course. Now again, I'm gonna place a couple on each side and a couple in the center. The ones in the center are just to provide stability so it doesn't get smushed down. And then we're gonna place this on the top in the center and so you'll be able to 
add your journaling right below here, like your strips of journaling. And again, if you don't want to add journaling, if you'd rather add another photo or a couple of fo small photos right there, you absolutely can. Now I'm going to add some of these little yellow enamel dots right here to the centers of these flowers. So we're going to do a yellow one in the center of the yellow, a yellow one in the center of the turquoise, and then also a yellow one in the center of this little navy blue flower. If you would like to do all of them, you certainly are welcome to. And if you'd like to match the enamel dots to the florals, you're welcome to do that also. I'm sticking with yellow. I like the bright, cheerful pop that gives. And then I'm gonna add just a little tiny cluster of the navy blue ones down here just for some fun. And then you can build your journaling right around that as well, staggering the lines, if you will. They're so cute, another page finished. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside, and then the next one we are going to work on is we are going to pull out right here, these brown. It's got a beautiful, rich brown color, and then it also has this subtle wood grain pattern. And then the back side is just simply white with a grid, and I love it because that creates just such a nice neutral sheet right here with the wood grain and the grid. So if you wanted to kind of go crazy with embellishments, you absolutely could because the patterned paper is not going to compete. All right, so let's add our adhesive and then line these up. Whoops, I didn't get that one out. I thought I did, but it was still sort of stuck right there. Okay, so we're lining up the holes and the rest of the die cut to make sure that they're kind of matching. A lot of working pieces there. All right, so the front is our wood grain and the back is our grid. So now the first thing on this guy is we are going to create a, we're gonna use our, I'm sorry, we're not gonna create, we're gonna use our photo mats for the two white, or two photos, I'm sorry, I'm just misspeaking all over the place. All right, so we're gonna add our two photos right here and we're gonna kind of put them in the center of the page, creating just a little bit of a divide in the center. All right, so now we are going to find our snail die cut. You see, <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute right here. He's got a little pack on his back. We're gonna find him right here. And then we are also going to use, right above it, the sleeping bags. I love it, it looks like somebody just dumped their sleeping bags and went off to explore. And then also we need the, Let's explore. So, I mean, I was kind of right. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we will place our little snail, we'll adhere him over here in the corner. And then I'm going to adhere the packs and stuff over here. And also, for the record, there is the cutest little canteen can you see that resting? I'm sorry, it doesn't, wants to just focus in on this. Resting on the tree stump, it's just adorable. All right, so I'm gonna push this all the way over to the edge of the camper and adhere it right there. Now I will once again place some foam squares on the back of the Let's Explore die cut. And then we will have him rest. So it looks like the snail is crawling right above and then it'll layer perfectly with our little sleeping bags. Isn't that great? 
Okay, now we're not finished yet. We're gonna look for one more right here. This campers have s'more fun. And now we're gonna take one of our buttons. I'm gonna take the smaller of the two that are left. I'm also gonna place the other one back in the bag, which seems kind of silly, I suppose, but I don't wanna lose it in all this mess that I have here on my workspace. I'm just going to go ahead and use a glue dot. Again, you can use your liquid adhesive if that works better for you, or you can use a glue dot as I have. I just don't want to wait for it to dry before we move on to the back side. Okay, so we have that there, and then we will, of course, add our enamel dots. I'm gonna put some over here, right on top of our cute little snail. Although, I'm not sure snails are really cute in real life, but in this instance, they are positively adorable. Okay, so we've got three over here and two on the left side and they are just creating the perfect little offset. Look how cute that is, uh, just adorable. All right, let's turn it over. And then this is the white with the grid, if you will recall. And on the back side of this, we are going to create a little something. So we are going to, you're gonna take out your the rest of your pieces and pull out this teal little guy. Now we are going to create a photo mat for a three by four photo out of this. So we'll trim this apart and I'm going to first just trim off the edge right past the holes just to give myself one nice little solid straight working surface. Then I'm going to do a very similar thing on this side. I can always cut more if I need to. And then let's see, I think this should work. I'm gonna just take the corner of the top right here and line that up and cut that right there. And then just cut off as little as possible at the wheels. So now I have my photo mat for my three by four photo out of one of those adorable little campers. So now what I can do after I set aside my paper trimmer, I'm also gonna stack my pages back up because they're falling over and I don't like it. Okay, I'm going to adhere this in the center of my page right here. So this is the photo mat this time. Then I'm going to use, you will take your photo, okay? So you'll have your photo right here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, but we won't have that. It won't be a photo, of course. Yours, this will be a photo. So what we're going to do is, I need to trim this the tiniest bit. Okay, now remember, you're gonna be wrapping your photo. I'm just wrapping a piece of cardstock. Now you're gonna take the twine that you have and we are gonna wrap this around our photo a couple of times just to give some beautiful texture to this page. So I'm going to start in the back and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lay it about where I'd like it on my photo. So I want it to crisscross my photo at the bottom. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of washi tape on the back. It's very hard, I think, to hold the photo in place while wrapping it. And I think that washi really helps give you an extra hand in this case. And if you're anything like me, you have quite a few rolls of it, so I may or may not ever use all of it. 
and this will help me use a little bit of it and I'll enjoy looking at it while I'm wrapping. So I'm just gonna wrap this around my photo a couple of times. And so you can see right here, it'll be down at the bottom. And then I am going to bring this together and tie a little bow. I need to cut this extra off. And a tie a little bow. Now you could also use a little bit of the washi on the front if you need it to hold this still. The beautiful thing about the washi is that the adhesive is not very firm, so it would just peel right back up when you were finished. Okay, so we're gonna tie the little bow. And then just make it I'm sure it's the shape that you like. The tails and the loops are in your pre preferred they look how you like them. I like my loops to be small and round. Everyone has, I think, their own little preference. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna trim my tails off. Voila! So now I'll go ahead and add my adhesive to the back. And then just adhere my photo right on top of the mat. Now, we have a couple more elements that we're going to continue to add here. It's so cute. We are going to find the stinking good time. So cute, I love it. And we are gonna put that on top of the photo mat now. And we will use some of our foam adhesive just to give it that dimension. This page is gonna be great. There's so much going on just texturally. You have the foam adhesive, you have the twine, you have enamel dots. I love it. It's just so cute. All right, so I'm gonna adhere this right up here. And then, now we're gonna go through our die cuts and find these little florals and pop these right out. There should be five of them when you're finished. There are four of them on this one page. And then on the page with the cute little fox, see the fox? You will find the little yellow one. Now we're gonna place foam adhesive on the back. We're going to stagger them across here. So let me show you. I'll put the foam adhesive on the back. And then I'm going to start by putting the pink one closer to my photo. And then we'll move in with the orange one. I'm going to move it out further away. And then the yellow will bring it back closer to the photo. This just provides some really some movement on this page with these florals moving in and out. Very cute and makes it a little bit more interesting. Now again, we'll move the turquoise one out a little bit and then this dark blue one will be closer into the photo. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our enamel dots and we're gonna mimic that with our enamel dots and place those in between the photos, or the flowers, I'm sorry, not the photos. These teeny tiny ones, and then I'm trying to get it into a very specific little place. It's a little bit difficult. Okay, so now I'm going to put this, um, let's see, this orange one right out here, because again, we're gonna go back and forth with these also. So let's put a yellow one out here. And let's put a blue one in here and a navy blue one out there. Look how cute that is. I just love it. Lots of movement, lots of fun on this one. And another page completed. All right, so now we are going to take our pink one. We're gonna take the light pink 
and that page. These two are gonna go together. I know they're not the same and we've been using the same ones, but we're not gonna do that this time. So now the front of this will be the light pink and then the back side is going to be this polka dot. So we'll get our adhesive on here. All right, now we're gonna create just the sweetest little scene you've ever seen. So we are going to take our campfire. And the tree. And then we need the, remember the little fox that I just showed you that is roasting marshmallows. So these guys are going to create just the most adorable little scene right down here. This is just going to be a very adorable decorative page. Okay, so now we're gonna pop that right there. And we're also going to find our banners. So we have, let's see, right here. It's like a little clothesline, if you will. And we're gonna pop this right out. Being careful, there's some teeny tiny details on this one that you don't want to tear. So just take some care when you're pulling this out. These little bows on the end are a little tiny bit delicate. All right, so we're gonna pop this up and we're going to have it come in between the two holes right over here, and then up to the center. Not completely all the way up, just partially, because then we're going to put something else up there at the top. So I'll turn this over and we'll put our foam adhesive. I'm gonna have it overlap just the tiniest bit with our little cute fox right there. You see that? So cute. And then, all right, so we want this adventurous in nature. And we're gonna do the same thing with using our foam adhesive. quite cute. So then I'm just gonna place that right up there in the middle and our decorative page is finished. So I'll flip this over. Remember we have the polka dot on the back and then on this page we are going to just create a little adorable scene in this corner and then we can add our journaling right through here. So now on this page we need our cute little fox. You see him? And then we also need these two little mushrooms that might be growing in the wild. And we also need a little, I love camping. Now, of course, if your mini album is not going to be dedicated to photos and stories of camping, you can leave that part out, substitute it for something else if you prefer. But if you're gonna create about camping, then go ahead and use it. All right, so we'll pull this little heart out as well. So I'm going to put that there for a second and we're gonna see how these all come together. There's a little section right in here too between his tail and his head that I've just removed. All right, so he will end up being just right here. And then my mushrooms right behind and then the I Love Camping. So cute. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of here, slide it right under, and then put the Isle of Camping right on top. Okay. 
Now we'll put the foam adhesive on the back. My foam adhesive is definitely getting a workout today with this cute little album, but I am not upset because when I have a chunky little mini album when I'm finished, it's so perfect. All right, so now I'm going to remember layer the fox just a little bit on top of both the mushrooms and the I Love Camping, but not covering up too much of that. All right, so I'll add some adhesive to the back. And then I am going to tilt this just a tiny bit so it's a little off kilter. Now let's take our twine. I'm gonna cut a fairly decent length of this. And we are going to tie a little bow. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull the tails a tiny bit to make my loops not quite so large because I want them to be much, much smaller. But I like making it big at first because it gives me a lot of flexibility rather than making it too small and then having to maybe rework the whole thing. All right, so we've got this adorable little bow with these super long tails. So I'm gonna trim those off. And then I'm going to place a little tiny dot of my liquid glue in the center of the heart. To remember the one that we put at a little angle and then press the bow into the glue so that it sticks right there. Now that'll dry and look amazing. And we are going to add a few enamel hearts around that heart. So again, we're just creating little clusters. I like to try to vary them as well, not have them both be exactly the same, make them a little bit more interesting. So I used a couple of big ones and a medium size and a big and a couple of medium size, just so that they're obviously almost exactly the same, but not quite the same. So see, now we have plenty of room for journaling right here. Okay, so now we're finished with that one and we are going to pull out this plaid piece and then we are also if you can believe it going to pull out the back of our chipboard album so i'll add the adhesive right here and we're just going to put a little bit of our glue now remember we want to add some we want to have a nice firm or a nice grip enough glue so that it sticks, but we don't wanna go crazy and we don't wanna have it coming out the edges or warping our paper or anything like that. So I'm making sure my glue is nice and thin and spread around my page. Okay, so now we can take our three by four photo and adhere it in the center. Okay, so now let's go back through the rest of our embellishments. As you can see, we're getting very close to the end, but there's still some great ones left. So we are going to choose this find your wild side And then we're also going to use this teal plaid tab. And then also these two little feathers right here. Now see, there's still little pieces left that you'll be able to add to the rest of your album if you'd like or use on other Hello Adventure projects. Okay, so I'm going to do a similar thing that we've already done and take the little tab and place him at the top. I'm going to just 
put it right on top. I'm not going to slip it underneath because I am going to layer the little banner on top of it. And I don't want to lose that. All the way to the edge of my photo and then place that right there. All right, so now we just have the tiniest bit left. I'm gonna take the two little feathers and I'm going to adhere them together down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna just place them sort of right like that, overlapping just ever so slightly. button. Remember I put him back in the bag for safekeeping. We're going to adhere that right there on top of the little feathers. I'm going to use a glue dot, but you can use your liquid adhesive or a glue dot, whichever one you prefer. All right, so we've got that right there. And if you have any little twine left over, you could use that to create a bow in the center, or you could use that just to tie a knot in here as well. So now we're gonna turn the back over and we are going to adhere the last piece of our album to the back of the cover. So again, I'm gonna use my liquid glue, provided I can get a little bit more out of this guy, using enough to get a good solid adhesion, but we don't wanna to go too crazy. And voila, now we're finished. But, we still need to assemble our album. So I'll put these all together with the little rings that came in the kit. I'm gonna turn this back over and I'm just gonna personally start with one at a time, one corner at a time. I like to, I think this is just easier without trying to put both of them in at the same time. And I like looking at my pages again, so works out okay. Now, don't forget you could add some ribbon to the rings to dress it up or some strips of fabric cut and you could trim them in or make knots or bows or anything like that to just put around the rings for a little bit of added fun if you'd like. But you can also leave them just like this. The album is so cute and so chunky. It doesn't need any additional embellishing whatsoever. Voila, now we have our very cute, super adorable mini album. Thank you guys so much for your support of Stampin' Scrapbook Expo and Keep It Simple. And I hope you enjoyed this little mini vintage camper mini album. Thank you so much and make it a great day. Hi everybody, this is Sean from Stampin' Scrapbook Expo. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous little RV mini album with our very own, very talented Jenny McGarvey. Um, it was such an adorable project. I absolutely love it. I just wanted to share with you the rest of the Hello Adventure collection. This is the collection pack and it's gonna have 16 double-sided cardstock sheets that are an 80 pound felt weed cardstock. Absolutely, incredibly luxurious feeling. And then you've got a 12 by 12 die cut ephemera sheet on the back with all these super cute little characters, a couple little journaling spots, another RV. So these are all the ephemera. And then the paper pack, it's just got some of the cutest patterns with the little mushrooms and flowers. You've got the stars, the trees. I love this paper that'll have all of the little characters all over it. My absolute favorite is the clothesline. Love, love, love that one. You've got some, sky, some uh, starry skies mountain peaks. There's a couple of cutout sheets. Um, so that's the collection pack. And then you've got the coordinating flip side pack, which is what your RV mini album was made out of. Should have been. Um, 80 pound felt loop cardstock again. All of these colors and patterns coordinate beautifully together or with the collection pack. So you don't have to think about grabbing a different kind of paper because these are all going to coordinate together so well. And they're like a printed solid. So it's got some really cool 
um, like this could replace a, just a basic navy paper. And it's got, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's got a little bit of pattern back to it. Same thing with the brown. You've got a little bit of a tree pattern. So it's fun to kind of replace your just kind of plain navy paper or any color with some of these printed solids. And then of course, you've got the 16 double-sided cardstock sheets and one 12 by 12 die cut sheet. You've got some great tags, some fun little things for journaling. Campers have s'more fun. Let your light shine. I promise to stay wild. I know a lot of you say that, I'm sure. We've also got the 12 by 12 collection sticker sheet. Um, again, 12 by 12 sticker is super, super cute. My favorite, again, the clothesline. It says a little stinker on the t-shirt. Just adorable. You've got all your little characters. And that's so cute. Where's my little butterfly? I'm just in love with her. Absolutely in love with her. I love them all, but she is my absolute favorite. I love coloring her. And then for the rest of the collection, you've got these super cute puffy stickers. You've got puffy buttons and puffy stickers. And these are more the puffy embossed buttons and stickers. Um, kind of like um, back in the 80s with your chopper keepers, if you remember what I'm talking about. Some of you do. Um, where we had those kind of puffy Lisa Frank stickers. Um, that's how these are. They're super, super cute. I love all the different patterns on the buttons. They're so much fun. You've got your little characters, little ladybug. Super cute. And of course the RV, which you just made. You've got the enamel stickers. And these are kind of like a hard enamel with a little bit of a shine to them, like a gloss. My personal favorite, the enamel dots. Absolutely love. These were designed in mind for scrapbookers and card makers. So we got you both. Um, you've got the larger and kind of medium size and then the smaller ones. As a card maker, I tend to use a ton of the small ones and some of the mediums. And I always have the larges left over, but it's nice to be able to have the option. Then you've got your foam alphabets, which are foam alphabets. Super cute. There's a little bit of a pattern to them. It's a navy with a red polka dot. You've got some really cute tags. And then of course on the other side, you've got the rest of the alphabet with the super cute tags. I love the sticker sheet, it's so cute. And then some of my favorite things, if you all know me, you know I love stamps. We've got a four by six wood grain stamp background and a six by eight stamp set with some of the characters on it. The RV, again, the little clothesline. Some great sentiments, adventure awaits, be adventurous. This collection is all about adventure. And then you've got another six by eight stamp set. They're gonna have the rest of the characters on it. So there's my little butterfly, raccoon, a fox, a frog, super cute tent. The other one is gonna have the skunk and the rabbit. So just some really fun items. Uh, Keepitsimplepapercrafts.com is the website for you to use, to go to, to shop, and there's a code for you to use. Summer 20, all one word, summer 20, until March 14th, you will get 20% off your entire purchase. If you get to $100 after the coupon, you will get free shipping. Again, that code is summer 20. You can find a bundle that has all your stamps in it. There's also a bundle that will come with all the rest of the items that I showed you. There's two Hello Adventure bundles, one stamp and one paper and accessories. You can use your summer 20 code on that to get 20% off. You can buy the items individually. It's basically 20% off the entire website. That code is only valid on keepitsimplepaper.com. You won't be able to use it on the Scrapbook Expo one. Um, so keepitsimplepaper.com, summer 20, will get you 20% off your entire order. I hope everybody had a great day. Thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Bye.